Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out some hair tools. On one side of my hair, I'm going to be using the Dyson Airwrap, which does not need much of an introduction, which you already know is that it is super expensive. It's close to 42-ish thousand, if I'm not wrong. And it comes with a bunch of different extensions that you have, which you can remove. And this I have been using for the last one year, one year, three months to be precise. And I have been loving it. I do use it constantly. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to be testing this with this one, which is called Zookix. So is a brand name which is kind of unknown and it's off of Amazon now when I checked there are so many different brands which are completely unknown and they have the exact same tool I just randomly chose the one which had a better rating and this is again a hot air brush and this is what I'm going to be using with the Dyson to test it out because this one is for a fraction of the Dyson's cost like this is around 697 rupees and uh, yeah we are going to test and see if they both perform good or bad or what now this came with a box which i cannot find it right now i'll try to insert a video if i do find it but it did not have any instruction as such but it does seem pretty straightforward that you do use it on damp hair so yeah we are gonna test this and see how it works out now if you have not already then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video Alright, so first things first, I'm going to remove the knots from my hair. I'm just going to use my white tooth comb. So my hair is not fully wet, it is damp. And for hair serum, I'm going to be using the Way Hair Oil, which I have been using for a very long time. This is my second bottle, it's almost one fourth done. And uh, yeah, I also do own the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil. And uh, for today's video, I'm just gonna use the Way one. I do love it. I have done a video on it a long time back, so I will link it above if you're interested. Okay, so I have sectioned my hair, it's out of the way, and I've also removed my earrings because I don't like wearing earrings when I'm using hot tools. I don't know, it's just my personal preference. So I plugged this on, and as soon as you plug it on, the light is on on the off button or off writing whatever and there are three settings which is low medium and high and you have to move it like so to change in the settings of how strong you want the air to blow out now the funny thing is the air blowing out in the low setting is actually higher or equal to high medium is actually low am i making sense for example Now for how loud this is, it's not that bad, I'm used to it. The Dyson is also not super loud, but it's kind of that soft buzzing noise. This also is not too loud, it's okay, I personally don't have an issue. Oh, and uh, if you see any hair stuck on it, it's because I've used it once before. I just wanted to try it out before I make any video on it. So yeah. Oh, and I'm also going to put a timer for how long it takes for each of the side to dry. So I'm going to put this on now for the Amazon one. It's on. has done a great job. minutes and 35 seconds which is quite impressive and it does feel pretty soft it's dried pretty well and bear in mind I have not used any conditioner or anything as such for today's hair wash I just did not so yeah it looks pretty good the bangs alone I'll be doing it later so that's why I kind of like took it off now let's go with the Dyson so like I said before today I'm using the firm and volume extension of the Dyson Airwrap and again all the settings are in high high and high and now I'm going to start with the Dyson's timer
inside is done and this took about 3 minutes and 25 seconds now this again has done a good job no denying on that but at the same time this one as well has given a great job now i'm just going to quickly finish off my bangs now the reason i'm doing the bangs in the end is because even though i have partitioned in the middle the bangs i usually take it like a side swept bang so yeah hmm What do you guys think this is the amazon one which has done a pretty damn good job and this is the dyson one which obviously has done a good job but yeah what do you guys think about it comment down below now what i'm gonna do is there are some thoughts about the amazon one and uh, i will quickly do a change of outfit and i will be right back hey guys i'm back and actually it has been a couple of hours like about six to seven hours since i initially filmed the first portion of the video and this is how everything looks like now i did not want to set my hair or anything this is exactly how i was and yeah i'll quickly show you guys how the hair looks like right now this is how my hair looks like right now after six to seven hours and also after clipping it and everything and sweating a little bit this is how everything still looks pretty damn good like if you had to see me for the first time you will not even know i use like a dyson on one side and the amazon 700 rupees one on the other side like it looks pretty damn good when i compare it each other like it looks pretty good you guys like i have zero complaints about it because it is so inexpensive and it achieves the exact same look that you get from the Dyson. Now there is just a few things that I wanted to point out about the Amazon one. Now the first point is that you do have to take like a smaller section and it will give you the result much more quicker. It is much more faster and better that way I feel rather than taking a bigger section and it takes longer for it to dry. So the smaller section the better. Wherein in the Dyson one you do have to take a little bit more section compared to this one. The other thing is that this tool is kind of flimsy. Like it's not the best of the best because for example, this thing comes off separately which happened when I tried using it for the first time and I was pretty shocked. I was like, what did this happen? I literally just unboxed it, used it and it kind of like came off. And uh, but then it is you can put it back but today's video that you guys saw it never came off or anything but I just want to put it out there that it is a kind of flimsy the other thing is that the settings because they have three different speed in which the hot air can blow now the low setting it is high the medium seems like low and high is a high setting but otherwise the low setting it's not low or anything of that sort now again this is 700 bucks i did not have much expectations and but it still did a good job end of the day but i'm just putting like fii's that this is what you can expect out of these this is what i have got maybe yours would be like perfect there wouldn't be any problem at all or it could be worse but yeah and last but not the least the technology is obviously much more superior when it comes to the dyson and this one it is just a hot air with a brush but it gives the exact same effect i have no issue whatsoever I really really like them for the price it is absolutely great now the last thing I want to mention which is the obvious is that the Dyson has multiple attachment that you get for 42,000 wherein for 600 ish kind of rupees you get only one thing which is a hot air brush so overall in my personal opinion I do highly recommend the Amazon one but just to bear in mind that the packaging or the build of it is quite finicky it's not that strong and I feel like if I put it down it may literally break apart but yeah but for 700 bucks it is absolutely fine it works like a charm it gave me the result that i was looking for and it looks amazing as well so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the dyson versus the amazon hot air brush and this wraps today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will turn it for you as well as follow me on my socials which is shanayar on instagram and shanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye